one of the things that I developed a lot more is that I've learned to look at other people's interests as well and, um, and other fields as well just to see how they would relate and that gives you a much broader, uh, much broader spectrum of knowledge that you can later on apply to your own field. Yeah, a lot of people would think it's academic excellence, but I genuinely think critical thinking has a lot more to do with it, especially when you're in a science field uh, in which there are always new discoveries and new developments going on. So there's a lot of papers always contradicting each other, so you need to really be able to make a decision and decide for yourself which one are you going to use to base your research or your essays or whatever is going on, and which ones you're going to discard and say, no, they're not, they're not what I need. Even though you're developing them uh, throughout your whole life, or you're developing them throughout your university studies, it's a good idea to always just sit down, look at them, and determine where you need more uh, developing, or where you've excelled this month. Well, when I first did it, I thought, oh, maybe I've developed one for the whole month. But when you sit down and actually reflect on what you've been doing and how that helps you, um, that helps later on. And you could write down a lot of stuff for all the attributes. And I think as time progresses, you, you become more pleased with yourself because you've learned more stuff and you're, you're actually advancing more than you think you are. So that's one of the important things, I think. Just like sit down, look at the graduate attributes, and then say, what have I done that actually developed through that? And through which ways have I done that? And through which ways can I go on doing that? And that is one way that you can actively, consciously Think, uh, look at the fact that you develop your graduate attributes, so you're developing your graduate attributes more.